as a filmmaker, I can I can easily see well, you know, that's that's my vision. Uh, but I can see like you know, producers, money people, whatever, going no, but you, but you have to remind the audience that they're supposed to look at this. You have to tell them in the first act and r remind them. Do you do you ever find yourselves at odds in that in that tug of war? Well, I produce my own film, so I can only argue with myself. But <laughs> well, well, that helps. Uh, which helps, <laughs> which I do a lot. At the financiers, of course, yeah. I mean, it's always. Uh, I mean, on Drive was considered a complete failure before it came out by the financiers. It was like written off as a disaster. You know, what was those fucking long talks and nobody's <laughs> talking? <laughs> Why are they staring so long? Can't we? <laughs> can't you cut <laughs> something? <laughs> no, there's no material. What? <laughs> there's no material? <laughs> but they're staring. <laughs> what, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, but they're falling in love. Fuck that, you know? It's like, <laughs> so it's certainly something that aggravates because it, it, it makes everyone feel uncomfortable because we're so used to sound, meaning dialogue, moving story along that cinema becomes less cinematic and more about logistics of verbal explanations, you know, execution. And I just like very much, I mean, my silent mood of making films that relatively almost have no dialogue in them. I mean, I'm looking forward to going back and making dialogue films again. But right now, I really enjoy that world of purely forcing myself to tell the story with the camera and design of sound and music and that kind of combination.